So in this video, we will see how we can create an implementation user and how we can convert implementation user or setup user uh, to a resource. So uh, uh, you, resource, users we can create from different ways. Uh, one is from security console. Um, so this method of, or this users, this type of users mostly will be created uh, for setting up the application or implementing the application. So these users will not be, uh, the users created from security console will not be uh, the actual business users. And uh, and the users created uh, from this uh, security console will not be considered for license. So uh, for creating um user so we need to go to the user tab from security console so to navigate to security console you can go to tools and uh, security console if you have it security manager role so after that add user account and select all the necessary information that is uh, the basic information like uh, uh, username etc Okay, so I'll be selecting uh, all the required information. Okay. So you can set up the password uh, uh, in this step itself. And uh, you can also add the roles. I'm adding uh, okay. So let's say this is a implementation user. So I'll be adding a sales administration administrator role. And uh, one more role, application implementation consultant. So these two roles I'm adding uh, for setting up my uh, or implementing my application. So you can observe uh, the user we created uh, from this uh, security console will not have any business unit information or legal entity information, work, uh, work uh, information, worker information. So for that, uh, we'll just quickly check again. So that's the user we just created. And if you notice, uh, it doesn't have any worker worker information having business unit or uh, legal entity information. But if you check, uh, there is one more user uh, where you can see associated worker information. So it has business unit, manager, job department, etc. And uh, this type of user is uh, is created directly from managed users or uh, created. Uh, using HCM, uh, hired as a HCM employee and then converted as a, or uh, uh, converted as resource, sales resource. So now uh, we can still log in to uh, this account. Okay, so we will be able to log in and we can see all all the uh, applications, I mean, uh, all uh, data, etc. Because it has data, uh, I mean, sales administrator role. So he can see the data, he can manage, um, he can uh, 
setup application like changing profile options, uh, uh, creating some tasks, etc. And also you can um, create sandbox uh, application development activities. But uh, since this is a setup user account, he cannot own any of the business records. That means he can't uh, create uh, leads, can't create uh, uh, opportunities, etc. So even if they try to create a lead or opportunity, it will get uh, error because the owner uh, owner will be uh, owner column. Um, so it will show only the resources. So it doesn't show the user accounts just created from security console. So uh, now it is asking uh, to select the user, right? So ideally uh, uh, it should select automatically the current user. So even if we search, we get only the sales admin and not the one we created. So we can create uh, with a I mean different owner. So that uh, still allows, but the current user cannot own this uh, lead. And uh, so here, uh, it, and then if you go to opportunity, Here we don't have opportunity uh, exposure, opportunity owner exposure, and uh, it is showing uh, an error called attribute. The value of attribute team member is not valid. The reason is uh, it is trying to add a owner or created user as a team member and uh, assigning uh, owner uh, uh, the logged in user or creator as a owner, and while adding it. So uh, it is unable to it is unable to add because it's not a resource. Even the uh, the users which are created from security console will not have even party ID, party ID, party information because it's not a party user. So this is the uh, I mean um, the behavior when we create. Uh, uh, the user from security console. So they can uh, view the data, they can um, they can configure uh, application setups, etc. But they can't own any of the uh, uh, data. So we cannot make uh, the setup user as a team member or owner or in, as in any form of the resource. So now in this uh, scenario, um, suppose uh, we want to, uh, after creating the security console user, uh, if we want to convert uh, this user into a resource, then uh, we need to uh, we need to create this user uh, again in manage users. So we have already the login. So for creating a user, we go to the setup and maintenance. And if you go to the uh, users and uh, security, so we we can see manage users task. And if you create a new user, so here uh, this is a creating a new user. But uh, in our case, we have already user uh, uh, created from security console, right? So what we will do is we will use this link user account option and we can link uh, the existing user account by clicking on, on this link option. So here we can select uh, the existing user. So here you can see all the users, even it is created from security console. Okay. 
So this is the user uh, sales dot admin zero one. So I'm selecting it. So you don't need to give the username because it is already taken uh, taken from the linked user account. So again, you can you need to give the uh, first name, last name, etc. And now here uh, you need to associate uh, the employment information like he's an employee or not, uh, or uh, or contractor, etc. And then you also need to select the legal uh, entity, legal entity and legal uh, employer. And then you have a uh, so in security uh, uh, console user, you can't select the resource role. So that means you can't select uh, um, the resource role and uh, auto provision roles. But in case of uh, employee or resource user, you can select this option. So I'll select uh, I'll select CX. Um, I'll select uh, sales administrator as a resource rule. And uh, if I click on auto provision rules, so now uh, the mapping, uh, right? So it assigns all the relevant uh, uh, rules that are uh, tied to this resource rule. So this will get uh, already added to the current rules. So in current rules, we have already the sales administrator and application implementation consultant. So in addition to these two rules, these rules will get added. Okay, now save and close. And while creating user, make sure you uh, match with the same uh, details like email and uh, uh, first name, last name. Okay, so now uh, we'll just plug out uh, from system. So we can um, we can use the same login now. Now this is a converted user. So again we can go to the application sales, and then if you go to the uh, opportunity, now it shouldn't throw any error because. We have already converted uh, the setup user as an employee. And uh, it also automatically adds uh, owner and a team member as a, a default one. So that's how um, okay, we could see the same user is uh, available now. And even if we search from owner or team, uh, this user will show now. So we can see uh, sales.admin01 as well uh, here. So this is how uh, uh, we can convert the setup user uh, as resource user uh, in Oracle Fusion Cloud. So also uh, in case, uh, suppose uh, we don't, uh, if 
uh, from the resource directory as well uh, we can mark this you uh, the setup user as a resource so by going into a uh, resource directory also we can make uh, we can make these changes so we can't create a user from resource directory but the only way we can do is uh, we can check the resource identify resource uh, so this ta this task basically uh, so you can give the username or uh, registry id and after after creating uh, the record i mean after creating manage users record uh, so you need to uh, come you can come here and if it is not identified as a resource here uh, by default when we give uh, the resource uh, role and create it from manage users it automatically adds this check mark uh, resource check mark here and it will be identified as a resource if it is not happening automatic um, uh, if it is not happened uh, by any chance so you can come here and then you can make uh, you can select the row and add as a resource so that it will become a resource and then you will be able to see in owner or team member list